Aloha, my name is Sean Jennings, and this video is part of the Share Plants Not Pest series. Developed to address the spread of invasive species through plant and seed sharing in Hawaii. Invasive pests, plants, and diseases are a major threat to Hawaii ecosystems and agriculture. But our choice as farmers and gardeners can help slow that spread. This video will review best practices for sharing plants and seeds. Today we're at the Kohala Center Demonstration Farm in Amoku in Honoka'a on Hawaii Island with our host Katiana Runnels. It's important for us as farmers and gardeners to avoid spreading invasive species. Let's start with considerations for sharing planting material. Whether sharing cuttings or seeds, the first step is communication. Know your source and exactly what you're getting. Some popular plants in Hawaii can become invasive. And if the plant is new to you, check on plantpono.org to see if it's invasive or not. Inspect all parts of your cuttings. Make sure there are no fruit or flowers and look for signs of pests and disease. Check for feeding damage, including defoliation and board holes, disease symptoms, including yellowing, leaf spots, lesions, wilting, or rot, and the presence of pests, including adult insects or larvae, eggs, and frass. Inspect the roots under the leaves, on the stem, cut ends, and in crevices, such as where the leaves meet the stem. Always test for little fire ants. Submerging cuttings in soapy water for 15 minutes may remove some, but not all insects. The water may contain live floating insects, so pour it down a drain and not in the bushes. Growing material can carry soil-borne pathogens that are not visible to the naked eye. Remove all soil and dead plant material before sharing. Cuttings can also carry pathogens inside of plant tissues. Cleaning off soil won't remove these diseases, so crop-specific treatments may be needed. Follow instructions from your local Cooperative Extension Service to treat kalahuli or other cuttings before sharing. Sterilize tools and equipment before and after use to avoid spreading disease. Planting sweet potato tubers can spread disease and pests. To propagate sweet potato, take cuttings from above the soil line without roots or soil attached. Treat cuttings with approved pesticides according to their label to avoid spreading pests like weevils. Banana bunchy top virus has decimated many banana farms worldwide and there is no reliable way to treat for it. Banana cakey with bunchy top virus should not be shared under any circumstances. If bunchy top is identified on your land, treat the infected plants to kill off and prevent the virus's spread. Virus-free banana cakey still needs to be treated to kill nematodes and other pests like banana weevils. This includes hot water treatment of 122 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes or a dip in 10% Clorox for 10 minutes. Use a quarantine station to isolate new material for at least two weeks. Do not plant questionable growing material in your farm or garden. It is expensive, time consuming, and sometimes impossible to remove disease and pests once they are established. If in doubt, throw it out. Put contaminated or invasive material in a sealed black plastic bag. If possible, leave the bag plant material in the sun for several days to heat. This will help kill pests and disease. Take the bag to the landfill. Do not dispose of contaminated material in county green waste systems. It can spread to other sites and it's prohibited. After working with contaminated plant material, sterilize your tools and equipment to avoid spreading disease. Soil can contain diseases, invasive plants, or pests. To avoid spreading these, exchange only soil-free materials. To keep seedlings free of soil-borne pathogens, start them in sterile soil from store-bought potting mix and sterile pots. Other soil could be contaminated with pests or disease. To protect our native forests, Never move soil that may be affected by rapid ohia death. 
When sharing seeds, start with communication about the plant and its source. Some pests or diseases may be spread via seeds. Keep notes and check plantpono.org as needed. If seeds may contain insects, you can freeze them for two weeks or store them in diatomaceous earth. One serious seed-borne disease is black rot, which affects plants in the brassica family, including kale, broccoli, cabbage, mustard greens, and collards. Black rot can take up to seven years to eradicate from the soil. Avoid sharing brassica seed unless you are certain that the source is black rot free. To review, when sharing plant material, remember, communication, ask about the source and condition of any new materials including pest or disease risks. Inspection. Thoroughly inspect all parts of materials you move on or off your land and test for little fire ants. Quarantine. Isolate new materials for at least two weeks. Treatment. Use recommended crop treatments on new planting material. Disposal. If pests or disease are discovered, Properly kill and dispose of them and treat aggressively to prevent their spread. Sharing seeds and plants connects our community and builds food security. With a few extra steps, we can avoid sharing invasive plants, pests, or diseases in the process. Have fun and remember, share plants, not pests.